Remember all those smokes, flashes, Molotovs, and nade throws we learned through hours of practice? Yeah, they're all dead. We gotta make new ones. Ashes to ashes, dust two to dust new. Greetings, I. The War Owl greets you. Let's start with Long A. The walls have been raised a lot higher, making it really difficult to flash properly over the top. Intuitively, you can throw a standing or running flash through this lower section, or you can jump up onto the car and do a jump throw. Both will hit the standard positions. Remember how easy and intuitive it was to throw a flash through the skylight as you were running out B? Yeah, don't do that no more. Now, if you do a running jump throw at the middle one, it'll bounce off the skybox, go straight down, and hit everyone holding that angle, but not hit your own teammates as they're watching from the door. This is a nice flash to throw. If you want to smoke out the standard angle, stand facing this door, aim at the side of the double door tower, then aim up until you're in line with the top of the architecture on the right do a standing throw. This is a very common smoke for long A. It helps you get out the door. Once you take control of long A, it's time to smoke out the cross. This was a very incredibly common mud's no smoke from back in the day. However, now cross has been hitting the jalapeno potato chips lately, an understandable vice. What I'm trying to say is, in politically correct terms, it's much wider, too wide to properly block out with a single smoke grenade. To smoke the close side, stand in the corner of the barrel, aim at the right tip of the light, then aim up until you're at the same height as the metal tower power antenna thingy. Sorry, I don't know what that thing is. And then do a running throw, letting go when your cursor passes the roof of the corner house. If you did it right, the smoke will hit bottom right of the tooth and will bounce over to block off the cross. Another player can then just chuck a smoke straight down there to fill up the gap, or you can flash your way across. Keep in mind, it still leaves a pretty big gap, and a good player will be able to op you, so please mind the gap. New car is now a very popular position. Some people are holding new car instead of long. Maybe it's that new car smell. <laughs> so you're probably gonna wanna torch it like an angry football fan. I found a Molotov that will hit car without peaking the angle, but it's difficult to throw, it's not perfect, and its fire doesn't spread right, so I'd suggest throwing it after peaking the angle. It's a risk, but if you think a player is crouching behind a new car, it'll almost guarantee his timely demise. Now let's run down mid to short A. They call it suicide for a reason, but fortunately we have the Xbox smoke. I like to throw it from top mid so that you can start pushing A right away. At Alexandri HVK tweeted me a solution which works great. I modified it a little bit to make it more consistent. Stand with your back to the wall and line up the corner close to you with the corner of the double windowed wall. Then aim at the dark smudge, like the top right thickest part of it, and do a running throw, letting go almost right away. You might have to practice this one a few times to get it right, but it perfectly smokes off short A for a push. Once up short, you can do the sight molotov the same way. Just aim at the thick part of the tree above the red sign and throw. Unfortunately, if you get very unlucky, you can hit the corner of the sign, which will drop the molotov straight down. It's kind of weird to have that as a collision in my opinion, and I kind of hope this gets patched. If you want a molotov goose, do the same thing, but aiming around the corner. It'll land directly in the middle of goose, and it will force the player out. If you want to smoke off CT spawn, line up the arrow of the sign to your right, with the top corner of the railing. Then aim at the top right corner of the shutters and do a medium throw. You do this by holding both the left and right mouse buttons at the same time and then letting go. There will still be a gap in the top of this smoke. So this smoke is not sufficient to hold off a long A push. I think all of these changes are by design in order to make the map less terrorist sided. If you want to smoke your team out short so that you can run the awkward gauntlet into the site, stand on top of the stairs railing when you get to the top, aim at the other side of the short box, in line with the dark shadow on the wall, and do a medium throw like we talked about before. This will leave no gaps and will allow your team to charge out and take A. It's now time to rush B, my friends, to smoke your team out into B site so that they can make it through the narrow choke point, which by the way, this narrow choke point is the same width as before. You only think it's more narrow because the ceiling is taller. 
Stand in the middle of the pillar and aim at the little black smudge on the wall. Do a little smudges thing. Do a standing throw. There will be no gaps in this smoke, but you'll have to check out the top of the box as you go in. This has become a way more common spot because they've kind of streamlined it. You can combine this with a really nice flash for a proper rush B. Throw it against the middle of the left wall in a running throw, and it'll land so it won't flash your own team, but it'll hit everybody in the sight. It's a very good flash. How many times have you been team flashed here? Every single time you attempt this? Yeah, pushing B will probably be a little bit more hectic than this. It's not, it's not a fun time. In lower tunnels at lower mid, you can flash over the top wall to push mid by doing a right click throw. This one's a little bit interesting. Aim at the little dark part at the top of the tower and then throw. This one will pop flash left side mid, but it won't hit mid to B. You can do a standing throw at the center of the tower to hit both sides, just a normal throw. But this one's a little bit more avoidable. It's not a pop flash. At Xbox, you can flash by aiming at the top corner of the closer wall. You can run out middle with this flash and not flash yourself. The mid to B smoke is pretty simple once again. Just aim at the middle of the lighter colored wall at the very top and do a simple standing throw. You can combine this with your flash to do a nice mid take. You can even do this in a solo queue. Keep in mind that players can see over the top of the mid to be smoke. So if you push, walk up against the far wall. And then you gotta flash your way into B sight. Oh. To flash B now, you can bounce it off of the walls or just throw it over the top, I don't care. This one's pretty intuitive. You can throw it standing, running, walking, however, in order to determine where you want it to hit. And you can throw it on both sides. A standing throw on the right side won't hit your teammates at door. You can use this as a terrorist taking the site or as a CT playing retake. Well, let's talk about retakes here. Let's say the terrorists have taken the site, they've smoked out the door, and you're trying to retake this site. You hear them start to plant at the standard bomb plant position. You can throw a Molotov to hit the standard plant position. Just do it the same way you would do a flash. Do a running throw, standing on the right side and running toward the left side. And the Molotov will land directly at the standard plant position. This is a super effective Molotov. I don't see it enough in matchmaking. There's a ton more smokes, flashes, Molotovs and such on this map and a lot more stuff to discover. I just wanted to give you the tools to get into the map and play it. If you find anything else cool or you have a better way to do any of these throws, link it in the comments or tweet it to me. I'll retweet the best ones. Finding new throws is a community effort. These were just the ones I came up with. Uh, we'll have our own personal preferences over time. Thanks for watching. I'm the War Al and I still have no closer. Ano sweet wala